Oh yeah, baby. We're going a million freaking miles an hour. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Playing some more Minecraft on the source block server. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And yoink, 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 yoink. New skin. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. We had another new skin, but then we decided to go back to the old skin. But then we made it a new skin as well. It's an old new skin. It's great. Uh, basically the old skin, but now with the white slip gator symbol. And we also have a better haircut. Look at our hair deal. Can you see it from the side maybe? No. It looks great. It looks kind of like my real hair. But yeah, so we're back on Source Block. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you have fun today, don't forget, show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you haven't already, subscribe for more, you guys. I have been busy. Are you ready to see some unbelievable and amazing stuff and things? Ladies and gentlemen. It has been taking us such a long time to get to and fro and back and forth. And I, that's right me, have made this unbelievable and amazing ice road. It goes from here all the way down to there. And then it bangs a little bit of a heart to port. And then it goes all the way to the spawn area. Now, for our tunnel for right now, it is pretty simple. Um, we're going to go ahead and church this up and make it up more unbelievable, more great. Uh, as we go on with our time on the server. But for right now, I just thought, you know what? We need a way to do this. So let's go ahead. Let's turn our boat around here. Oh my God. Let's see here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, and it's like no time at all. This is the long segment here. Let's see if we can get going pretty fast. Oh, we got another boat over here. Oh gosh, can I get out even? Like so. All right, feels good team. Like so, bam and bam, a couple extra boats and that. So there we go, all the way back to base in like no time at all. Uh, really hoping that we see some people buy a little bit of ice because up over in this area here, this little walk that goes all the way down there to get experience, boy oh boy, does that take some time. It takes quite a while to get over there. So hopefully, now that we, you know what, let's go over and check on our packed ice shop. Hopefully somebody will be buying packed ice from us soon so that they can make their own roads. Now, mine is made with blue ice because I am the packed ice master and I have all of the packed ice on the server. So mine's made with blye ice, but yeah. So let's go in here and see. Slip ye oldie packed ice shop. Anybody? What? Nobody's buying any of my packed ice. I sold one stack so far. That was it. You know what? Maybe we should put our armor back on. Better butter boots need to be on our better feet. All right. So it doesn't look like anybody is buying our packed ice. Maybe we need to have a better sign. Maybe we need to have a class like packed ice 101 educating the server on what it can be used for. Specifically, ice boat roads in the nether for getting to and fro much, much more quickly. I think it would be a good idea. Maybe we need to educate the peeps. All right. So let's go ahead and head back over here. Oh yeah, baby! We're going a million freaking miles an hour! Dude, I love this so much. It's so great! It makes it so we can get to town in like no time. All right, and so there we go. We're out of our boat. We'll leave it right over there. We got to add like a couple other things inside of here. To be honest with you, maybe a chest with a few boats on each side. Probably not a bad idea. And that's something that I can get going here in a little bit. So, all right, let's pop over here. We have another project that we want to get going on today, and that's going to be to start to do some stuff and things over inside of here. So, remember, we are in our iceberg area, in our ice base place. And so, out, outside here, this is where we're going to have our, our whole base area. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna, about starting to do here is maybe do a little bit of kind of... I don't know. I want to do a little terraforming, and I want to add something in this right here. So, inside of this iceberg... I want to go ahead and start hollowing this guy out, if we could, like so, and then maybe a three, a three by, oh, you know what, let's just make another, oh, should we do another thing to get a boat around here? It would be kind of cool, since we have our boat right here and our entrance there, what if we set this up so that you could bring boats in, but then also, I feel like we gotta have walking paths too. So some sort of a walking path would be really, really good. I'm thinking about setting an area right here uh, over on this side here where we can walk out of this base. So let's go ahead and take a look here. If we come over to this way like this, let's go ahead and pop some of this off right here. And then I think this is what we're gonna need to go ahead and piece out of here. Like this, like that. Let's take all this out. 
like so. Oh, crap. That's right. We don't have Silk Touch anymore. Oh, my God. You guys, on stream the other night, we lost everything again. It was crazy, man. We died in the nether. Oh, well, yeah, that's kind of the reason why we're doing this. All right. So, uh, no Silk Touch. This is going to be interesting. Thankfully, I have a lot of materials already ready to rock and roll. We grab a little bit of packed ice, and then we make this into a walkway. I think this would be really, really cool. So, if we take this guy like so, and we pop this out here. So, it's like a three by, right? But actually, I think it's going to have to be snow. Hmm, what do we got? No enchanted. Oh, I'm breaking on our shovel. How much snow do I have over here? Eh, enough to get a little bit done, but I'm going to have to make some more. All right, let's squirt that ice back away, and then let's go ahead and make this into a snowy path. So, snow is going to be, I think, our floor of choice. Like this, like that, like this. And then we'll go ahead and take our snow, like so. And yes, mm hmm. Very nice, very nice indeed. Bang, bang, squirt, squirt. All right, so, bam, uh, we got a little bit of a pathway right here. And what I'm thinking about doing is bringing this out a little bit and then building a bridge that goes over into this area. And you see how we kind of have a natural little ice deal right there? And then a couple of little natural, I don't know, almost like columns right there? I'm thinking that that's really cool architecture. I like that. So maybe we keep this sort of icy, snowy road from out here, build a bridge over into this area. And then what I want to do in there is build uh, a furnace experience machine, basically, is what we want. You know what might be kind of cool, too? If we did something like this. And then what if we did kind of like so and then kind of built this a little bit more naturally. Kind of brought this out here, too. We could bring this all the way out into the front and then build it kind of out a little bit like so like that and then build you know what i mean so it's a little bit of like kind of like an ice porch an ice porch deal but kind of natural looking too so something similar to like this maybe and then this guy could come out a little bit more this guy a couple more and then we're already out of snow and this guy a couple more kind of like this so then it looks a little bit more natural like uh that actually that's not a bad idea we could take some snow right here and just kind of add some of these deals making it look like kind of like a thing like so and like snow and maybe like so and like snow. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right. So, uh, yeah, that looks good. I'm down. I'm down to clown with this. So this is kind of what we'll have around some of our other areas. It still looks fairly natural, somewhat natural. But yeah, right from here, I'm thinking from here over to that area, some sort of a bridge would be really, really cool. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to make a little bit more snow here. Yeah, it looks like we definitely are. Let's take some of these guys out of here, our extra balls. We got another stack right there. We'll grab those guys. Uh, like this, like that. Let's make as much as we can. Like so. All right, doing okay. Let me start working on this bridge, and we'll see what we get here in a few minutes. And bridge number one is ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. With a little bit of packed ice, snow, some lanterns, some diorite walls, and quartz stairs, we have made our first little bridge area, and it's great. It looks really, really good. Really good. I don't think that we're going to do a, a boat access to this machine here, uh, but I think that we will have boat access to some stuff and things. But look at that. A nice little ice bridge. Kind of straight. Wait, what? No, no, no. Everything's fine. Kind of straightforward. Everything's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of quartz stairs on the underside there. We have a little bit more decorating to do, but for right now, I just kind of want, wanted to make it functional. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these guys like this and maybe kind of come over here. This needs to be maybe a little bit, mm-hmm, something and something like that. That looks a little bit better. And then what I figure that we're going to do over in this area, so where these roads are going to be, I figure we can just take an at... Oh, crap. Is this... Wait, what do we got here? This is packed ice, right? Packed ice. This is regular ice? Wait, what? I thought everything here was made of packed ice. Oh, it's not. Almost everything. This stuff is regular old ice. I think we'll have to probably harvest this up and then change it. What is that? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Polar bear action? Hello? There he is! There's a cute little polar bear over there! I don't think it'll aggro us as long as there's no babies around. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Dude is facing its anus to us. That is the universal sign of polar bear friendship. If you ever meet a polar bear in the wild, pay attention, this is very important. If you meet a polar bear in the wild and he puts a, see how he's putting his anus to us? That is a friendship sign. Very, very important. So we're already making friends with the indigenous uh, polar bear population. That's very, very good. Uh, we're not going to be able to do much more over here until we get silk touch. I don't want to waste any of this ice right here. 
So, but what we'll probably do is put, keep this kind of uh, broken on the edges the way that it is. We'll put snow paths down the center and kind of break those up. And that'll be a nice little walkway with um, some traction for us, for sure, Zs. Now, uh, we have efficiency for fortune on breaking three on this thing. And then inside of here is where we want to get going uh, with a new area. So we're going to, oh, dude, you guys, I don't think I can do this. I don't think that I can do this and waste all this without getting silk touch. I think we really need to go get silk touch um, more than anything before we start doing anything else here. So, ha, huh, we got 32 levels right now. Let's go ahead and come over here and put some stuff and things away. Uh, inside of here is all of these guys like this, like this. We'll squirt that guy down there. Oh, and you guys had another idea that I didn't even think about. We have white carpet here right now, right? So some of these areas where these torches are, why don't we pull, oh, we can't do that. We need, I have some, I know I do. There it is, bam, all right. I was gonna do a torch down there, but what we could do here is a little bit of glowstone and then a carpet like so. And that'll make this look a little bit better, right? Much, much better, in fact. Instead of having this torch spam around everywhere, let's just uh, maybe go like this, like this, like that. And then we can add glowstone in, squirt some white carpet on top, and it kind of adds a little bit of texture to the area and keeps the light level at a great, great, uh, level. Uh, let's pop that guy out of there. Ooh, is this going to cause a major disaster problem? Uh, if we do this and then this, let's do this as well. Pop these guys off of here and then put down our car. Yeah, see? Nailed it. Ace the KB stop. So that was a cool suggestion that you guys left in the comments. Appreciate it. It was very, very nice of you. But yeah, so what we're going to do next, we've got to get Silk Touch going. I've had so many problems with dying on the server. Maybe we might at one point here. I don't know. I mean, I, I was under the impression that Butter Armor was kind of the wave of the future. You know what I mean? You know, I, I'm a trendsetter. That's kind of that's just how I roll. Uh, and uh, yeah, I thought butter armor was the way of the future, but maybe it, maybe it's not. I haven't really died uh, because of not having enough armor, though. <laughs> that hasn't been the issue. Um, and also, we do have some more diamonds now. So let me go ahead here. Where are our diggity diamonds? Let's go ahead here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's make two more diamond picks. Like so, uh, bang, bang, two of those guys. We'll put these guys back away over inside of here. Snowballs, nether stuff and things. These got, no, nope, wrong, incorrect. There it is. These guys inside of here. Uh, let's put our glowstone back in there. All right, sweet. So we got a decent amount of seven things here. We got a couple of books right here. I think I have more back at my base as well. Um, and let's put our carpet away too. Where do we have that? Right mm, inside of here. Like that, uh, unbreaking. Oh, dude, that's right, we have mending. Oh, and we have this efficiency two pick too. Forgot about that. We still have a mending book right here that I can use for some stuff. Hmm, I don't think I wanna put that on my fortune pick. I really, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it on our silk touch pick. So we'll leave that guy right here. So we don't have our XP system set up right now. We'll have to go back to um, the base area, the, the starter town. And uh, let's do a little bit of enchanting here. Ladies and gentlemen, oh yeah, baby. Silk Touch, I'm amazing. One, two, three, 30 levels, yoink. Efficiency for Silk Touch. All right, we need to get them breaking as well. Um, so I used up my levels. I did a little bit of grinding. I put some enchantments on this iron shovel. Uh, we really need to get, only have 27 levels. Uh, projectile protection, efficiency, piercing. Uh, what if we just squirt this guy in here? Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. We need unbreaking on this really, really bad. I don't think I have, I, I thought, I think back there we had a one unbreaking book or something like that. We really need, we don't actually need mending on our sword. We have a sword over at the um, Enderman farm now that has mending and sweeping edge on it, a community sword that everyone could use. But this guy's got to get unbreaking. Uh, I think we're going to need to get some more levels in order to make that happen right now. So yeah, I might have to head over to the Enderman farm and do a little bit of Enderman stuff. Okay, over at our Enderman spawning deal. Uh, now, it looks like this has been edited a little bit. Uh, we need a little bit of hot carpet action over here, I think. Uh, and it looks like they're going to be able to spawn on top of there. That's going to be a little bit of an efficiency issue, but it should be still okay. Uh, looks like we got some chests for balls, but over here, Enderman's Bane. We're going to go ahead and use this guy right here to get, I think, maybe 45 levels, I think, would be a good amount. What's even on here? Sharpness 4, Sweeping Edge 3. Feels good, team. All the XP Zors are ours. 
And it looks like eh, the farm is not quite as fast. It feels a little bit slower, but I sh I'm sure we can still get more experience that we can absorb into our bodies. So this shouldn't be too tough. We're just going to sit here for a little bit, get some stuff and things done, get 45 levels, and then we should be able to maybe be... Oh, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to head back to the base. We don't have a grindstone here. Oh, there is one. Do we have stuff and things we can do? Uh, I don't have anything to disenchant. Oh, wait, I have an iron shovel. Nail that ace that can't be stopped. We don't have to go back to the spawn town to do our enchants. We can just do it right here once we get all of our levels. We don't even have to get 45. We can just do it right now. Oh, my God. This is amazing. All right, I'm breaking. That's efficiency three. No. So we can just go like so, like so. Efficiency one, like so. Squirt that guy in here. Bam, like that. We still have 33 levels. We could just head back here. We could just do... Oh, efficiency four. Ooh, that could be efficiency five. But, it, you know, it might come with unbreaking. We might not even ever see an unbreaking, to be honest with you. I don't even know. Let's, uh, yeah, like this, like this. Let's try this maybe one more time over here. Like so, like so. Still have 32 levels. Silk touch! We just got silk touch! Another silk touch? I need unbreaking. I can't do silk touch. Uh, so we can just continue to do this until we get on breaking. There's a breaking too, lol. All right. He's done it, I'm breaking. Uh, and then we can go ahead and squirt that guy on there. That's efficiency four, I'm breaking three. And that is going to allow us now, do we have a, oh, right over here, baby. We can go ahead here. That's our silk touch efficiency. Bam, like so and like so. Efficiency five, silk touch, I'm breaking three. Nailed it, ace that can't be stopped. Now we just gotta make sure we have a few more levels. So when we head back to base, we have everything that we need to put mending on there. And uh, we can begin hauling out our iceberg. Alrighty, back we are with our beautiful bridge. And also now I started doing a little bit more work on uh, our road over here, just really quickly. Uh, and then over in this area, we have a completely hollowed out iceberg. That's right, another one. Number two hollowed out iceberg. Uh, Fwip's asking for some gravel. I told him I can give him some that's in my base. We made a little bit of a window over here. It looks really good. And also, I did a little bit of gathering, ladies and gentle peeps. I got all this ready to rock and roll, uh, including some slimes for sticky pistons. We're gonna see how this all works. <gasps> We're missing something. There's one thing we've got to get. You know what I need? Right here, an ender pearl deal. That way, really fast over here, like so. And okay, no, this is fine. Down over here. We need some fence posts here. So let's go ahead and see if we can make some of those guys. Let's pop over here and take a look. Do we already have any fence posts? I don't think I do. All right, let's grab, I love birch, but I don't have it. Let's just make oak. Let's grab some of these guys, like so. If we're gonna make some fence stuff and things, uh, like, uh, so we're gonna need, okay, a little bit of stick action, like this and like that. We don't need much of this, but just some. Do this so many, and then there was fence. He's done it. Uh, maybe not quite that much. There, 30 is probably perfect. All right, let's take these guys and squirt them back into, uh, our wood chest, like so. All right, fence posts we got now feels good, team. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of building of the redstone stuff on camera with you guys. This is always a challenge for me. I'm more of a follower of tutorials than I am a creator of redstone stuff, but we're gonna try to figure this out together right now. All right, so, hopper, like so, uh, dispenser, bam. And then let me go ahead and grab these and this, and let's go over here and let's put our dispenser, uh, could we do it like right there? We could, we could do this this close. Right there? Is that gonna work? This guy like that? Can we put lava in betwixt the snow? Oh, I have some over here. Huh. Like so, like so. Our blue plasma. You know what? That might be too close. Now that I think about it, that actually might be way, way, way too close. Why don't we come down over this way a little bit? We'll squirt this guy down over here. I pop this guy out right there, and then let's go ahead in here and drop in our lava like that. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit of snow. We can make some right here. Feels good, team. Squirt, yoink, bam, mm, uh, like that. All right, so now we're gonna take, we got a bunch of hoppers. Uh, hopper, 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 and hopper. All right, like that and like that. So these guys are gonna feed into the center and all that is gonna feed back over into here. Now, what we're gonna do over here is we have to set up an automated dispensing deal. I need one comparator, one repeater, one block, and a little bit of redstone. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. I do believe we need to comparator this guy. Dude, is that gonna work? Uh, can I even do? All right, we moved some stuff and things around, guys, but everything's great. Uh, we're gonna do this over here. So repeater, and then that's gonna squirt into a block, and then we need that to go into, uh, we can pop these guys off over here. I'm 
trying to keep this nice and clean too by making this in the snow when we do this stuff like that and like that that's gonna pop over here into a repeater that goes into redstone that comes around like so and then i'm just gonna run it like this bang 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 and we'll stick a block here now that is an automatic dispensing deal if we squirt snowballs in there they'll shoot them out let's not waste our snowballs uh we could do maybe like some blocks of this like 26 of those you can see there it's dispensing out Amazing. Nailed it, Ace. It can't be stopped. So that's going to be our trash can. We want that to automatically throw things down inside of here. And that's where we're going to put our lava. We're not going to do it right now, just in case we drop a block in there or something like that. But yeah, moving forward, that's going to be what that's going to be. All right. So the next order of business is we need two little sets of uh, hoppers here. We need one set that comes over like this back into the back there. I need another set that goes into the top too. I need to grab some more hoppers. Uh, we got, I made a whole stack of them, so let's go like this, like this. Maybe for right now also we build a little stairway deal like that. All right, so that guy goes inside of there, and then I'm pretty sure what I got to do over here is go like this and like this, and then I need a line of repeaters that goes this way, or hoppers. Okay, now we're going to have to build a farm on top of there. Now the next order of business is, uh, that's for the fuel. Now we also need to feed in here uh, whatever items that we're going to smelt. So that's what we're doing over here. So we're going to set that like that, like this, like that, and then like this. And I think that should work to automatically feed everything in that we're going to feed in over here. So that comes like that. I don't need that guy. So yes, yeah, so the items come over this way. They go into the top. Then the items come over that way. They go into the back. So if I was to feed in uh, a boat, should go into there. Bam. And then if I was to feed in a boat, it goes in the top. You see, one goes into the uh, what we're going to be smelting and one goes into the fuel. So let's pop these guys off of here. I really hope, jeez Louise, I keep feeling like I'm not, I don't have enough room in here to do what I want to do. Um, yeah, so what do we got to do now? We have all the items that we need to do this. I'm wondering if we just don't have enough. Maybe we need to build this out. We might have to, dude, there's snow over there. Natural snow. We might have to like edit this to make it work the way that we want it to work. So maybe we have to edit the, uh, the iceberg a little bit to make this happen. Uh, but yeah, so right over here, I think is where I want to do this. And what we're going to need to do is if that's where our hoppers are going to go, we need a block like right here, I think. And that needs to be an on off block. So let's go ahead and grab some more of our stuff and things here. We need these guys. I need like no block observer furnaces, dispensers, maybe some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this. Those guys, boat, this, that, that. Let's just grab it all. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, I can't grab it all. Uh, squirt, squirt, squirt. And then levers. And then... All right. So, I've built this farm. This I saw uh, another impulse design. And we love impulse. He's great. He builds great machines and great things. Uh, and what we got here is a new kind of a glitchy bug that works to... Like, I think it's better than zero tick. And I do, oh no, I moved the boat. Oh, I'm stuck. <gasps> Dude, ender pearl me right now. Uh, 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 uh. Dude, I hope that doesn't affect anything. I think we should be okay. The boat moved just a little bit, just the touch. Uh, and then, uh, 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 like so. All right, and then the other thing we gotta do here is maybe put just a little bit more glass here before I show you what's going on. So let me go ahead and grab our glass like so and like so. Let's just glass this in. It, this can all be temporary. It can all be forever. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how this works. Let's stick this guy over here like that, like this, like that. Let us go ahead and maybe we'll use ice rate back over here like so. And then why don't we uh, glass, glass this guy like that. And then maybe we'll just ice it up over here like this. And oh, wait, is there no glass over there? What? Slip Gator, who are you? Uh, give me the edge of that, please. Please give me the edge of that. Uh, I can't do it from here. Uh, alrighty, fine. Like so, and then let's pop back up over here. Uh, Alright, hold on. Everything's fine, everybody. Nobody freak out! I come up over here. Go ahead and grab our glass. Glass that guy in there. I think some of the glass on the... I think we need some glass on the back here, too. Yeah, probably inside of there as well. We just got to make sure this is completely covered. I didn't even think of this before we started getting this guy going. All right, I think that's good. I think everything now inside of there is completely filled up um, and completely covered. So there's a campfire right there that we put the fire out on. And then there's a boat. And we got uh, a couple of 
uh, fence posts back there on some sticky pistons, and then we put some sand on top of that. Now, the way this kind of works, I guess, is it, it, it's like a zero tick where we're moving the sand, but what happens is when the fence posts fall, the sand falls on the boat, and then it infinitely falls. Uh, so when we turn this on, it should be updating those sand blocks over and over and over and over, and we should get huge amounts of sugar cane. Oh, no! We already broke our farm because... Uh, I moved the boat. You know what? It doesn't even matter. It still looks like it's working. Like an unbelievably good amount. Look at this, man. So when this guy fills up, I actually already have a little bit of bamboo over here. And what I want to see is if I did my hoppers correctly, when this guy fills up all the way, we're going to start filling up the next one. After that, we should start filling up. Oh, we can take that out of there. You know, we can put some other items in here, actually. But once that fills up, it should go to the next one and then the next one and then the next one and keep those all full all the time. Um, I think I have to do a little bit of a redesign on this because now it's only about 66% as effective as it could be. Um, and I'm wondering if we're also having... Dude, look at that, man. No, it looks like all the sand is falling down. Or all the bamboo is falling down. We're losing some right here because it's coming out of this hole. Put on your air protection, everybody! Look at all that. There's so, there's so much. Oh my god, this is working great. Alright, guys. Stuff and things are working quite well. I nudged the boat over. It's all I had to do is just break out some of the glass and then nudge the boat over to the side. But check out how much bamboo this thing makes, man. It is insane. It's insanity. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like, it's just crazy how much uh, this is coming out, man. That's already full. That's already full. Our hoppers are working perfectly, bud. By the way, no problems there at all. But yeah, this guy is really, really working well. I should be able to keep all four of these furnaces going all the time with this amount of bamboo. I shouldn't have any problem with that at all, uh, which is exactly what we want to do. Um, oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chink in the armor, Ted. Uh, yeah, this has got to go. Chink in the armor, Ted. We'll have to redesign that system a little bit right there. Let's go ahead and grab all of our bamboo from here as well. Like so and like so. And then let me see here. 21. Let's go ahead and fill that up with the rest of those guys. So that should be filling up this hopper now. Nice. And then it'll come over to this one to fill that up as well. Can we grab any, it any extras? There's like some other... There's little bamboos floating around here. I feel like we're wasting it. I think that some of those are ghost blocks. The server sees them as actual things, but they're not actual things. So the big question I have now is what I want to do is recreate this on the other side, but do it with cactus. And I don't know if it's going to work with cactus. Impulse doesn't do it with cactus. He does it with, dude, look at all those blocks up there. Are those all being wasted? I can't even imagine that's the case. That's a lot of loss. I don't know if there's a way, if maybe I did the farm wrong. I don't think that I did, but maybe this is just like loss. Hold on. Let's pop these guys off. Oh my God. Oh, I can't touch the, I can't touch that. Hold on. I can just walk on these, right? Oh, cause there's bamboo in the way. I can walk on this side. Uh, 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 dude, we're full. Holy crap. So I think it's just going to make so much. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter how much we're making. So we can stick, stick those guys in there. Stick those guys in there. That guy's full now. That guy's full now. That guy's still filling up. Unbelievable and amazing. Uh, all right. So this definitely is working. Uh, now, like I said, let's see if we can make it with cactus. It's working! I figured. Why bother setting up the entire other deal to see if it works with cactus when we could just take the sugar cane off of this guy and see if that works with cactus? And it does. It's unbelievable and amazing. Now, there are some concessions and things we're going to have to change here. So we can't have, obviously, adjacent blocks next to the cactus. I think we're going to have a little bit of loss. We're going to have to worry, work on how we're going to have this be... Well, we might just have loss. I don't know if I can make it lossless, but um, it's definitely going to be a little bit different for the cactus. All right, so this guy was over here like this and like that. We got to go ahead and get our bamboo back in action. Let's go over here. Bang, bang, and bang. And then uh, I don't think they need to be at a different growth stage. It'll grow here in a second, and then that guy gets covered up. All right, so now this is all encased again. Uh, bamboo should be GTG if we turn that guy on. Oh, crap you do need to do that deal uh let's just grab a half stack of those guys like this and then yeah if that happens i think you actually have to have these not be like the bot it has to be like this sort of uh bamboo like that and then that should work fine now if we go ahead and turn this guy on there we go 
All right, GTG. So, uh, because of the way we have the hopper set up for the system, I think we need to make this farm out one more block. I can't pull this. Hmm. I mean, we can make it much higher, but I can't put another uh, hopper on top of this hopper. So we have to move this instead of it being back that way. It's going to be one block a little bit forward. Also, I had my lever up here uh, on this block, and that was locking this hopper. So I moved this lever down there so that no hoppers are locked. And then similarly over here, what we're going to do is we'll stick our lever down right over here. So that means that what's the next stage here? Repeaters, we need... Uh, is it just like right there and right there? All right, right, right. So like here, it's uh, one, two, and then three, like that. And then our redstone right here, uh, one, two, and three. And then if we pop over here, Ladies and gentlemen, the system seems to be working. I do believe. Uh, I have everything turned off right now. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Now, this isn't working quite as quickly as I thought, uh, but we also don't need to have the pistons in the back there. I just have a sign up there. Uh, that is auto harvesting. I think there's just blocks up there too, auto harvesting. So we're getting cactus, but not quite as fast as we were getting uh, our bamboo. And if we built this a different way and made it a little bit bigger, we could definitely get a lot more cactus in the system. But we are producing more than we need for one furnace. So right now we have 64 cactus in there. Uh, yeah, and then another 32, but I don't know if this can feed. If this system can't feed four, it's not really worth it for us. I need to be able to feed four of these guys. And you can see, we're not getting like a huge amount. Are we losing? Hold on here. Let's just take a look and see. Is there some sort of a, a place where we're losing something? No. Oh my God, I'm in lava. Oh my God. Uh, 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 uh. I'm in lava. I was in lava. Oh no. I'm on fire right now. This is me on fire, everyone. Oh my God. That was so scary, you guys. Safety third. We need more. Give me this right here. Make me snow like so, please, right now. Just anything that help. And then let's, and that for safety. Holy my, and yes, safety third. Oh my God. All right. So the auto dispenser, uh, I do believe is working. We got that all set up a little bit lower over here. We probably should throw a torch down there just in case. Maybe one over here as well. Now, as far as this goes, do you see, I think, I don't know where all the cactus is going. 37, 64, there's 40 all of a sudden, 41. I wonder if we let this run for like a while, what would happen? And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, ready to shut down stuff and things. Now, you guys, a couple of different design issues we're having with this. Uh, one is that when I turn this system off, I lock this furnace. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. And then what I did was I wanted to test to see if this was working. I, I added on another uh, third layer. I d basically doubled the size of the farm, but that only allowed me to add one more cactus uh, because it needed to be spaced out every other one. Now, then I went ahead and locked everything and let it run for, uh, I can't remember how long, a long time. And uh, to see if uh, we were creating enough cactus and we're not, we're creating, we're not creating enough cactus. You can see if we turn all these guys on, well, actually, I don't really need that guy on, but uh, you can see here 28, 43, 59, 60. If we watch this right here, it's just not keeping up. It goes up. There we go. 64 right there. 59 in here. 60, 61. Oh, maybe. Wait, what? I can swear to God we weren't keeping up. Hmm. I think maybe it has to do with sometimes the individual cactus entities get, one of them might get stuck over here Like in this little hole that we have we need that there because the cactus has no blocks on the sides of it And uh, then all the little entities from that cactus go over inside of that area and they don't fill fill everything up 63 64 63 64 43 well, maybe it is keeping up but any hoozle, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's lock all these guys down like so. And I went ahead and killed myself. Uh, so we have no more levels. And uh, I'm going to see here. Ooh, baby. Ooh, not bad. 19. 21. So a total of 21 levels for running it for maybe, I don't know, a little while. If I was to AFK this overnight... Um, I think it would be quite a bit, uh, a huge amount more than 21 levels 
But yeah, so cool. That's gonna be it, guys. It was a long friggin' day. Doing stuff and things. But look what we made. Unbelievable and amazing redstone sorcery. But that's gonna be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget, show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favor the video as you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you!